So that is it then. The game's ended 4-0 to Aston Villa against Everton. Um, if I'm being completely honest, probably the best sort of comeback after a horrific loss last last week you could ever ask for. Um, everything was perfect today, to be fair. Um, you know, the scoreline as well, getting that goal difference back is, is amazing in itself. I mean, you know, coming to this game, I sort of knew we'd win because we do have a really good record against Everton, especially at home. Uh, since we've been promoted, we have not lost one once. I think we've only drew to them twice. And, you know, it's, it was definitely a good game to bounce back. And to get a 4-0 win, it just shows like, the levels. Like I'll talk about Everton at, at the end of the, of the video because there's a few things I do want to say about the fan base and everything like that. Um, but, you know, obviously with the starting lineup, I couldn't really knock anyone, really. Except for Leon Bailey, I just thought... Why? But I've got to say, Leon Bailey today, he's been good. He's been really good. Um, and I think you could tell, like, Diaby's sort of rubbing off him now. Um, and I know the goal he scored, it was just a complete horrific decision from one of their defenders. Don't know what the hell was going on, but it was just really nice to see him get the goal. Um, and obviously, in the game, got the first goal. Absolutely beautiful we captain scoring like that. It's just everything was just right today. Like from the first second, everything was just done right. And it's just nice. It's nice that we can move on from what happened last week. Obviously losing Mings and Wendy. We've got the players still, but um you know, there's there's a long road to go ahead and it's really good that we can get a score like that today, especially when we go into Europe next week. Um and yeah, it's just I'm just really happy with all the performances. I just wanted to say a few things about some players. Obviously, Luca Digne, he's just been linked to Nice as of this morning, I believe. He had a really bloody good game. I mean, some of his his crossings, it's just been outstanding today, and it's really nice. To see. I mean, coming in the game, you can see it was clearly knackered, but some some of his players today was really really good. Um, John McGinn, he definitely get man of the match for me. Just Beautiful in that midfield, driving the ball for direct football, beautiful. And uh, yeah, Leon Bailey, he, he he has to get mentioned because he he's one of them. Like he will play that one good game once in a blue moon, but I think this is the start of something now. There's something going. On. I mean, Emery, we know he's a tactical magician, and there's, he wouldn't be playing him for no reason. He's seen something in training. He's seen obviously he's the manager and everything. And, you know, in Emery we trust, don't we? So, hopefully, this is the start of some good form for Leon Bailey. Because I would absolutely love him to, to smash it in the Prem, to smash it in Europe with us. Um, but, yeah, he's just got to put the work in, to be fair. Um, but, yeah, man of the match for me had to be McGinn. Um, and also, John Duran getting his goal coming the end of the game. I think he was only on five minutes. He's got his goal. So happy for him. Um, and, you know, he's only, like, 22 years old. So, you know, there's a lot there's a lot of players so they've got a really good future here with, with Villa. And uh it's nice that we've got the, the score line today, four 0 obviously it puts us three points. I'm not sure where we are in the table, but the goal difference is zero now, once again. So we can start building on that. Obviously we've got Burnley next. So hopefully we can put in the same sort of performance against them. Um despite obviously having to sort of change the defence and everything up. Obviously, it's the same formation. We just had to put Paul Torres instead of Mings. And talking about Paul Torres, didn't do anything wrong, to be fair. I mean, I can't say he had a lively game. I don't think... I, th I, think, I think the best way to describe it is he had a sort of a quiet game. But you'd rather that than say that he's made mistakes. Because like, obviously, last game, you can give him the benefit of the doubt. He did not think he'd be playing that much on uh, his first game in the Premier League. Um but it was in a in a way it was really good because you know Emery got full ninety back close to full ninety minutes in that game just to see and you know assess his football coming into this one and yeah he did not put a foot wrong in my opinion um, but yeah I just wanted to talk about Everton I know this is a Villa channel but I just wanted to get my thoughts on it it's just it's just shit and it? it's just shit for him it's like there's not. Anyone, there's nothing going for. I mean, the first thing I do have to say, Calvert Lewin, that was his own mistake today. Why he came off? I mean, the, the 
the size of that lump on his face. Horrible, but they need to, they just need to get past him. They need to get past him. They need someone else in. Leon Mopai doesn't do it. I think Dan, on out Dan Juma, there is something with that player. I think he needs to start next game. I think it is against Wolves. A good game to get something from because they haven't even scored a goal yet. I know we're two games in, but they haven't scored a goal yet. Um, yeah, but in my opinion, I know Dan Juma needs to start that game. Uh, I think they are going to be missing a Wobi as well. I'm not sure what happened with him. He had to come off. It's just not looking good for him. I mean, last season, season prior, he just wasn't looking good for him. I know they, I do believe they'll stay up, but I don't know. It's just, you know, watching their fans today. You know, they were very lively in the first 10 minutes, but coming to the end of the game, obviously the camera pans to them. The heads are all down. It's just, it's just shit to see. Like, you know, there's, there's banter in football, but, you know, a club like Everton should not be suffering like that, in my opinion. So hopefully in the next few seasons, something happens. And, yeah, obviously they have a good start at their new stadium. And, you, you know, I don't think it's even a manager problem. I just think they're just, the signings are just, dreadful they're just not getting anyone in really there's, and you know there's a case to say that they can't really entice anyone they can't really if they're going to be finishing like 17th every season so something needs to give there because i don't know it's not like they're, they're short on money on it if they've got the money they just need to invest a bit more and a bit more smarter in my opinion but yeah that is all i can say about everton i do believe you stay up whether it is the skin of your teeth again but it's just a shit situation to be in but yeah obviously my Man of the match, as I said, once once again, it had to be McGinn. He's just absolutely beautiful today. And um, hopefully he can keep that form into Wednesday's game. In our first game back into Europe against Hibs. Uh, I think it is the club he supports. So we'll see how he, how he performs against them. But yeah, beautiful win today. Couldn't have asked for anything more. And yeah, up the Villa, the pride of Villa. We'll see you in the next video.